obvious question is how did you feel Saturday night? It looked like the second half it was painful at times, and, and then how uh, have you felt since the recovery? Yeah, it felt good. It felt good for me to get out there, be with my teammates. That was the hardest part of being out. So just getting back and, and being able to get in the swing of things and, and find a little bit of rhythm was good. You know, uh, sometimes it hurts to play the game. That's how it is. So I've been a little bit sore, but getting back this week and getting ready for next week too. No, no, probably not. I don't know. I, I, if I'm going to start something, I, I'm going to try to finish it. So uh, I anticipated playing the whole game. and. You know, it kind of ended up being like that. So, who were your top talks with the last month, month and a half? How far that you now? No, it was it was it was rough. You know, it, that was expected though. I mean, it's it's kind. I mean, we're student athletes. It's kind of like our whole thing. You know, playing football. It's basically kind of our whole life. So, not being able to do what you love and and what you prepare for doing your whole life is is going to be hard every time. Sam. It, it was tough. Um, just something that we kind of harped on in my recovery process was making sure that I do everything I can to stay conditioned and get ready for whenever I do come back and play, making sure I was ready for the task at hand. So it, it was a big focus of ours, and I think we did a pretty good job. Back to Grant. That was obviously a lot of weekly speculation. Just kind of what you think about this week and what you were healthy enough to play at the level Earlier in the week, we have um, our padded practices and kind of the first day that I got out there in, in pads and did the whole thing, um, felt pretty confident in myself, felt pretty comfortable in my shoes and then where my feet were. So it probably earlier in the week, I, I found a good gauge of where I was at. So to Eric and then Ben, kind of musical chairs filling in for you while you were out with all in and AK at the time. So what do you think of those guys? And then... Now that you're back and people are kind of getting back to where they normally are, what do you think the ceiling is for Houston and the offensive line together? Uh, the ceiling's really high. I think when we play together, we play pretty good football, and I think that was kind of shown this past week. I think we did a pretty good job, but got stuff to grow with. As far as Dana, Ali, and all the guys that you know stepped up when I was hurt, super proud of those guys. You know, they've they've done a lot of great things around here, and that was just another one of them. And I think they filled their role pretty well. Coming off the bye week, you have two pretty tough defensive fronts, Wakeling and a and and Alabama. What key to this week and getting into next week is for the offensive line to keep going? Uh, I think the biggest key is using this week to, you know, not as a week just to have a week off, really being intentional about how we're working and, you know, figuring out the game plan and figuring out the stuff that we need to do to win. So the Noah and Adam and Tyler. I kind of go back to all just kind of what was – I think so. You can ask him. I think he he leaned on me a little bit. Um, I think I think we all as a whole, you know, our whole line kind of bonded together around those guys that were filling in, building them up, giving them confidence. And then for me, anything that I saw that I that I knew that he might not have known, I showed it to him and figured out how you get better at it. Obviously, you saw every week where Ashley Coe played this week and played this week. When he would say he may play or if he's not comfortable to play, how did you deal with the speculation and the pressure from the public about that? Uh, I just, you know, I just didn't really deal with it. I just kind of turned a blind eye to it, kind of turned my head. I, I, You can't really focus on what everybody's saying outside of the building, and that's preached by our coaching staff, is that all that matters is right here in this building. So that's where my ears were listening, and that's where my eyes were looking at. So. It didn't really bother me too much. We get a lot of questions out and about because of the pandemic and things like that. Uh, people, people would ask, yeah, but, you know, I, I'm not out too much. I'm pretty busy with football here, so not too much. Patrick, since you were doing the process in August and the bye week, is there any key for guys next week to learn how to do that? Really, really my whole line, you know, that was big for me. And a, a huge part of it was my family, you know, after – after I had my surgery, I went home for a couple of days and, and hung out with my family. And, you know, they kind of nursed me back to health, health a little bit, my little brother. So 
yeah, it, it was my family, all of my teammates around here. Everybody's great. Love all of them guys. Oh man, you know if if anybody's ever had to deal with my surgery, it's it's kind of hard to get up and get going. So he would always walk with me, hold my hand, you know, make sure I was propped up right and to get where I was going. Really fun. You know, anytime those guys are out there hitting on all cylinders, it's going to be a fun game and, you know, a violent game. So if you watch the game, there's plenty of finished plays and, and plays where guys are taking people over the pile, stuff like that. And I think that's kind of, you know, who we are as an O-line and who we're trying to be. It's our identity. Okay. Thanks, Cooper. Appreciate y'all.